Hello, I'm Brett with WIPdeveloper.com. I use Illuminated Cloud for my general day-to-day -day development with Salesforce, and it has a wonderful offline debugging feature. But the other day I encountered an issue where I had to debug a log that I did not have access to the org of. We were deploying a change set to production, and I did not have production access, so I was emailed the log. Now, this might be an issue where you have to sit there and read through the log manually or with illuminated cloud you can set it up so that you can paste the log file into a debug uh, context so i'm going to show you how to do that so it becomes a little bit more obvious you go to run edit configurations under apex offline debugger um, add a new one with the little plus sign offline apex offline debugger now i'm going to say i'm going to give it a name i don't believe any of these log levels matter what we're going to do is we're going to take a log file and paste it into the log body and at the very top of the log file the log levels are specified so you see Apex code debug, Apex profiling info, callout info, and you, you can't change that here. So I don't believe these settings will change anything. But we can, with this log file, and this is just an example log file, um, now I can hit OK. So we choose the debug log from, or the, we choose the configuration from the dropdown, external log, press the bot little bug to make it start working stepping through and now we can do the offline debugging i would show you the code here but i did not have time to set up a full sample environment with that if you get a debug log with the appropriate level, log levels like apex at finest you can see what values are being assigned where and troubleshoot your issues without being able to um, for an org you don't have access to or if you are deploying a change set to production and you, since the code never gets deployed, you can't pull up the debug log and step through it in the org environment because the code doesn't, isn't in the org, but you can pull it back to the environment where or you can pull it into your code base for the environment you're deploying from. In this case, I was deploying from a QA environment uh, and we could step through it since it is the same code and see where the issues are. So it works for troubleshooting change set deployments and for troubleshooting orgs you cannot actually access. That's all for now. Remember to sign up for the weekly standup and you can get updated with any new information we have on wipdeveloper.com.